The Battle of Bugojino was fought between forces of the Army of the Republic of Bosnia, and Herzegovina and the Croatian Defense Council for control of the town and municipality of Bugojno in central Bosnia, from 18 the 28th of July 1993. The area of Bugojno was under joint control of the RB 307th Brigade and the HVO Eugen Koternik Brigade since the start of the Bosnian War. Violent incidents in Bugojno followed the escalation of the Croat-Bosniak War in adjacent municipalities throughout the first half of 1993. Bugojno was spared from fighting and the two local brigades were still formally allied by June 1993, at the time of an army offensive in central Bosnia. Fighting broke out in the town on the 18th of July. The HVO forces, outnumbered by three to one, were separated and surrounded in several locations. Most of them were defeated within a week of intense street combat. The last HVO units in the town surrendered on 25 July, while combat, in the rest of the municipality lasted for another four days. The RB won control over the entire municipality. Its casualties were 92 killed and 211 wounded, while the HVO had 107 killed. 130 wounded and 470 captured. The Eugen Koternik Brigade was effectively destroyed in the battle. An estimated 15,000 Croats fled. Several hundred HVO POWs and civilians were detained in various prison camps in the town, including the Iskra Stadium. The last prisoners were released in March 1994. The Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina convicted four RB officials and one HVO official for war crimes committed during and after the battle. The court charged the RB authorities in Bugojino for participating in a joint criminal enterprise against Croat detainees, a qualification that was dropped on appeal. Chapter 1 Background At the beginning of the Bosnian War, the area of Bugojino, a town and municipality in central Bosnia situated on the River Vrbas, was under joint control of the Croatian Defense Council, the main Croat army, and the army of the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the main Bosniak army. The two armies cooperated against the army of Republika Srpska. Bogojino was at the crossroads of two important routes linking the central part of the country with the region of Herzegovina, and leading further to Croatia. A weapons factory in the town produced mines and hand grenades. Before the war, the municipality of Bugojino had a population of 46,889, of which 42% were Bosniaks, 34% were Croats, and 18% were Serbs. The town of Bugojino had 22,641 citizens, with the percentage of Bosniaks, Croats, and Serbs each being 30%. In the 1990 municipal election, the municipality elected 21 delegates of the Croatian Democratic Union of Bosnia and Herzegovina, 20 delegates of the Party of Democratic Action, and 9 delegates of the Serb Democratic Party. The elected mayor was a Croat from the HDZB. The ethnic balance in the municipality changed significantly in 1992. Most Serbs fled at the start of the Bosnian War, while a large number of Bosniak and Croat refugees moved in from other parts of the country. The HVO and the Bosnian Territorial Defense Force, later transformed into the Arbi, established a defense system in Bugojino early in the war. Bugojino was within the area of responsibility of the Yugoslav People's Army's 19th Partisan Brigade of the 30th Partisan Division. Several assaults by the JNA, which later became the VRS, were repelled by the HVO and the RB throughout 1992. The VRS held the adjacent municipalities of Dornjevakov and Kupras, which was captured by the JNA in April. In October 1992, a series of incidents led to open fighting between the HVO and the RB in Novi Travnik, east of Bugojino. The local HVO in Bugojino reached an agreement with the local RB not to send their forces outside of the municipality. The road towards Novi Travnik was blocked. On 26 October, a ceasefire was signed in Bugojino between HVO and RB representatives. The clashes in October are generally regarded as the start of the Croat-Bosniak War. Despite the outbreak of hostilities, 
the conflict remained localized and a general military alliance was still in effect. Relations between Croats and Bosniaks in Bogosino were relatively good until January 1993, when the HVO and the Arby clashed in Gornji Vakuf, southeast of Bogosino. Local commanders tried to preserve the alliance by allowing the free movement of each other's troops, but relations continued to deteriorate. Chapter 2 Opposing Forces Bogosino was within the area of responsibility of the HVO operative zone Northwest Herzegovina. The HVO Eugen Fraternic Brigade, established in May 1992, was based in Bogosino and was organized into three battalions, a military police company, and a small mixed artillery battery. It was under the command of Ivica Lucic and had an estimated strength of 1,000 to 1,500 soldiers. Prior to the conflict with the Arby, the brigade included around 200 Bosniaks in its ranks. The Arby assigned the municipality of Bugojno to the Third Corps. In March 1993, Third Corps commander Enver Hadzirsanovic reorganized its brigades into four operational groups, including the OG West with headquarters in Bugojno. The OG West was commanded by Selmo Psychotic. Its 307th Mountain Brigade, organized into four battalions, was based in Bugojino, under the command of Tahir Granik. Fully mobilized, the brigade could field around 3-3-500 troops with several dozen mortars. Senod Dortovic was the head of the unified command of the Arby Bugojino. Chapter 3 Prelude The Croat-Bosniak War was raging in central Bosnia in April and in Herzegovina in May 1993. In June 1993, the Argus started an offensive against the HVO in central Bosnia, defeating the HVO in Travnik and most of the Novi Travnik municipality, northeast of Bugojno. The 307th Bugojno Mountain Brigade assisted other Arby units in the fighting in Novi Travnik. The Arby's objective was to secure the road that connected the VRS held Jage and Dornje Vakuf, the contested Bugojno and Gornji Vakuf, HVO held Prozor, Arby held Jablanica, and continued south to Mostar. Control of the Slavko Rodic weapons factory in Bugojno, damaged earlier in the war but still functional was also of strategic importance. By June 1993, the Arby and the HVO still jointly controlled the checkpoints in and around Bogosino. The units split in July. By that time, a number of violent incidents by extremists on both sides increased ethnic tensions. The ethnic unrest culminated in two events, the torching of the Bosniak village of Vranja, resulting in many casualties, and the killing of two Croat policemen who were members of the Joint Patrol. Chapter 4 Battle The battle began on the morning of 18 July with an Arby 307th Brigade attack on the HVO Eugen Koternik Brigade. Since a large number of HVO soldiers were on leave of deployed outside of Bugojino, the actual fighting strength of the HVO was estimated at no more than 200 to 400 in the town. After several days of fierce street fighting, the Arby put under control most of the key facilities in the town, including the HVO Eugen Koternik Brigade's barracks. The HVO forces were separated into three locations. The HVO's 3rd Battalion was surrounded in the town's elementary school. It surrendered on 23 July, followed by the 1st and 2nd Battalion. The HVO Military Police Company, Surrounded in the Kalin Hotel, was the last large pocket of resistance until it surrendered on 25 July. The fighting continued southeast of the town and lasted until 29 July. Chapter 5 Aftermath The Arby casualties were 92 killed and 211 wounded. The HVO had 107 killed and 130 wounded. According to a September 1993 report by O.G. West, 470 HVO members were captured in the course of the fighting. The report noted that 383 had the status of prisoners of war, while 66 were released. The other 87 prisoners, who were not listed as prisoners of war, were considered irregular combatants by the Arby. 
Around 15,000 Croats fled from the municipality. The remnants of the Eugen Paternik Brigade were regrouped into a single battalion, and later combined with the HVO Kupras and Jade's brigades into the 55th Home Guard Regiment. From July 1993, the HVO's operative zone central Bosnia was completely cut off from the HVO in Herzegovina, and could not receive any significant amounts of military supplies. After the capture of Bugojno, the army continued its offensive towards Gornji Vakov on 1 August, around 20 km to the southeast, and captured most of the HVO held part of the municipality. The HVO made a counter attack with limited success. The confrontation line soon stabilized, running through the town of Gornji Vakov. Chapter 5 Section 1 War Crimes and Prosecution In 1993 and 1994, the wartime presidency of Bugojino, of the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, came up with a decision to set up a prison camp for the captured enemy combatants, at the football stadium Luke, where 294 HVO war prisoners were held for eight months, and mentally and physically abused. Thousands of Croat civilians were also expelled from Bugojino in 1993 and 1994 by the Army of the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosniak civilians from the settlement of Vranja, and other parts of the municipality were detained in the Akvayem Motel in Bugojino during the battle in July 1993. The arrests were conducted by the HVO's Special Purpose Unit Garavi. The prisoners were abused and beaten while one prisoner was killed. Several hundred HVO soldiers and Croat civilians, captured during the battle, were detained by the RB in various detention facilities in Bugojno, where they were subjected to physical abuse. The longest open detention facility was the Iskra Stadium, which was turned into a detention camp in August 1993. Around 300 Croat prisoners were detained there for eight months. They were taken to perform forced labor and used as human shields. The camp operated until 19 March 1994, when it numbered 292 detainees. At least, 24 prisoners of the detention facilities in Bugojino were killed, not after the war, the SFOR estimated in 1997 that the ethnic composition of the municipality was 38,000 Bosniaks, 2,000 Croats and 400 Serbs. The court of Bosnia, and Herzegovina and the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia filed several indictments on war crime charges committed during and after the battle. In the trial against Amir Kubera and Enver Hadzi Hasanovic, former commander of the Arbi Third Corps, the ICTI convicted Hadzi Hasanovic in the first instance verdict in March 2006, inter alia, for failing to take adequate measures to prevent crimes against the detainees in Bugojno. The appeals chamber reversed some of the trial chamber's findings, including counts related to Bugojino, and reduced his sentence to three and a half years in April 2008. Slavko Sakic, member of the Special Purpose Unit Garavi of the HVO, pleaded guilty to plunder, torture of Bosniak prisoners and the killing of one prisoner. He was convicted in September 2008 to eight years and six months of imprisonment by the Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Enes Hanzik, Assistant Commander for Security of the RB 307th Brigade, was sentenced to eight years in prison by the Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina in May 2011, after he had pleaded guilty to forcing detainees to perform labor and for not taking necessary measures to prevent crimes against the detainees. The trial in the Bugojino 3 case, concerning Nisvet Gazel, Musaj Pokokavica, and Senod Dortovic, began in February 2008 and was retried in 2013. In November 2011, in the first instance verdict, the Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina convicted Senod Dortovic, head of the Arbi Bugojino, to 13 years in prison, and Nisvet Gazel, warden of the Iskra Stadium camp, to six years. The court ruled that Senod Dortovic participated in a joint criminal enterprise against detainees of Croat ethnicity. According to the verdict, the joint criminal enterprise involved the Bugojino Municipality Wartime Presidency, with Divad Mlako as the chairman, the Bugojino Defense Staff, the 307th Brigade of the Arby, and Operations Group West of the Arby. 
The trial verdict was revoked in December 2012 and a re-trial before the appellate division was ordered. In December 2013, the appellate division of the Court of B reduced Gortovic's sentence to seven years, and Nizet Gazel's to four years, while Musage Kukavik, security commander at the Iskra Stadium, was sentenced to four years. In 2015 Dortovic was sentenced to seven years in prison for war crimes against the wounded and war prisoners in Bogozno. Gazel and Kukavica were sentenced to four years in prison. Additionally Aliyah Osmik was sentenced to three years in prison.